Hi everyone, welcome back. If you think you're going okay with common factors, here's just some more that we put into assessments. What happens, this topic can go rather crazy. People can go, it's what, really complicated. And they can make them high powers and large numbers. I'm trying to stick to the simpler numbers like fives and tens and make it easy and not too bad on the letters. So let's have a look what's going on here. So factorize means, so factorize means put in a multiply and then multiply into the situation. So this is all connected by an addition. I want everything that's there to be connected by a multiply. What I want to do now is pull everything out of both of those, the first term, if we talk maths, and the second term, and write it outside the brackets. So there's a five in both of these. They're both multiples of five. I can take a five out of this. I can remove a five out of that, and I can remove a five out of that. There's an X here and an X here, so I can remove an X out of the first term and out of the second term and later on out of the third term. So let's have a look. That Y is only in this one and the W is only in this one. Here's the question you've got to ask each time. Five times what is 10? I have to ask myself that many times when I was younger, I still remember. Five times what is 10 is two. I've already got the X, I need a Y. So I could double check because remember, expanding the brackets is is the reverse of factorize, or factorize is the reverse of expanding the brackets. So what well, I've got five twos of 10, I've got an X and a Y, and we write them alphabetically. So five watts of five, that's one. I don't have to write the one, because I'm going to have the W, and the X is gone. That was an addition, so let's have a check what we've got. Five X times times, there's a little multiply in there, but we don't write it in because the rule was, we remove the multiplications out to make it less lengthy and less confusing in the long run when it gets when you get better at it. 5xw. So you could have written 5xw, but most people will write it alphabetically, and that's 5wx. So the second one. What have we got in the first term that's in the second term? Well, that 2 is not over here. There's no 4 or 6 or 8 or 10. There's an x here and there's an x here, but there's more than one x here. So this time, just a little twist you can see as it builds up, is an x squared in both of them. The y is not in both and the 2 is not in both. They're not both even. So I put the bracket in. x squared times what is x squared y? I need the y. x squared times what is 2x squared? I need the 2. So let's have a look at what it does. x squared y, if you expand the bracket, is that one. x squared by 2, 2x squared. You expand the bracket for that one. Some people, by the way, use the eyebrows to keep track of what they've done. So there's your x squared y, and there's your 2x squared. And we write the number first. Sound. So now some twists on that one. There's an x in both. This one has an x times an x. There's a y in both. This one's got a y times a y. So this is where students really come unstuck. I can get an x in both. I can get a y in both, and I can put the brackets in. The question is, keep saying the same thing. So we've got the x, we've got one of the y's, and we left the one there. So I could say x square, xy times what is xy squared. Mm, probably at this stage I prefer to go, I've got my x, I've got my y, there's one left over. Then I have my subtraction. I've got one of my x's, I need the other x, and the y's gone. So if you look at this pair here, there's the x and the y, and one of the x's are left over. There are some people on this topic that really need to go and do this, and I'm going to do it slowly. Anyone's okay, you can watch this next one or fast forward to the next one here. If I wrote that as x times y times y, let's have a look at what's going on. The two is sitting on the y, so it means only the y gets repeated. The two is sitting on, controlling the y, so it doesn't mean x, y, x, y, it just means we write the x once and we write the y twice. So we go over this one over here. The 2 this time sits on the x, so we write the x twice, and we write the y once. So some people need to see that maybe the once, and then they're right from there on. Some people, if you really get stuck, need to write that out. So I'm going to remove out an x out the front. I can't take out 2 because there's only 1. I remove a y out the front. Again, I can't take out 2 because there's only 1 over here. So that's an x, y, and I put the brackets in. And this is how simple you can make it. The x and the y are gone, so we're left with a y. And the x and the y are gone, so this time we're left with an x. And oh my goodness, that can mark up students in assessments. The last one, let's have a look at this one here. 
5 and 10, I've written 5 and 10 again, make it easier, I could have written other numbers, but let's stick to the 5 and the 10. So 5 will go into that and 5 will go into that, so I can put a 5 on the outside. This is an x cubed, which is an x times an x times an x. And there's got another x over there, so one x can go out. You can't take out an x squared, you can't take out the x cubed. Let's have a look what's left. So x times what would give me x cubed, and that's an x squared. This one here, be careful with it. 5 times what will be minus 10. So minus 2. And the x is already gone. And if you want to check it, eyebrow method, 5x times x squared is 5x cubed. 5x times minus 2 is minus 10. And I was laughing to myself, I could write that out in full. Yes, I'll do it now, very briefly do it now. So if you're one of those people who need it written out, written out in full, I've got 5 times x times x times x minus 10 times x. If I take the 5 out the front, because 5 goes into both of them, and you can see I could remove x and put them out the front here, put the brackets in, now I've got the 5 is gone, the x is gone, so maybe ticking off would help, not really crossing out, but ticking off. I've got two of those left, 5 watts of minus 10, so that's a minus 2, and the x is gone. And we're finished. Um, I've got more to go. These are getting too long, uh, but there's more things that the teachers can do to you in the assessment. If you're enjoying, um, please let your friends know.